All right, so here we are. We've arrived at some houses. Uh, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to take a look inside, uh, and looting is obviously quite important. You'll notice that pretty much anything, uh, or most things, you can walk up to and you obviously can interact with. It'll tell you, F to open. And then you can look inside, see if there's anything. Uh, even big things like this, you can pick them up. So generator's pretty heavy. Probably don't want to pick those up. That's going to have a huge cost on your stamina. Let's actually take a second to look at the HUD real quick. So on your bottom left, that's going to be your stamina bar. So uh, now in normal situations, when you're at a light jog like so, it's not going to cost you any stamina. If you sprint, it's going to cost you stamina. If you melee, it's going to cost you stamina. Power attacks cost you a lot. Um, but depending on the weight that you're carrying, so if I come and pick this back up, you can see I barely have any stamina at all. Right, so yeah, let's say you're carrying four guns or something like that, very heavy weapons. Uh, you might not have enough stamina to even do a power attack. So it's one of the things you want to take, uh, keep an eye on. Um, sometimes being light is better. Uh, take what you need, move on. Right. So here we are we're in a building. So you see we have loot here, and this is boots. So this is obviously. Uh, you know, this is going to be shoes, right? So here we are. We, you know, currently, we have some shitty athletic shoes. Uh, and these boots, they're probably be a little bit better. Uh, so let's take a look at our uh, inventory, which you can access by pressing tab. So you'll see you have uh, shoulder slots for weapons. You have a slot for vest, a slot for uh, shirt, jacket, etc. You have a slot for belt, uh, pants, backpack, uh headwear, you know, that can be a hat or a beanie uh, or a helmet, a face mask, uh, eyewear, uh, gloves, as well as shoes, and you can even put on an armband. Um, so one of the things you do need to uh, keep an eye on with all of these things that you're wearing uh, is the insulation levels. Uh, you can get cold enough to where you will get a, a literal cold and get sick. So uh, these things that you start with are all going to have pretty low insulation or bad insulation, right? Um, so with these shoes, they have medium insulation, so I'm going to want to put those on. Now, in most situations, people who start will say, okay, so to get these boots, I'm going to click F, right? I'm going to take them. That's not what you want to do. It literally just puts it in your inventory. So the power of tab itself is that you can check your vicinity and see what's there so with boots you can do uh, or with any clothing if it's in the vicinity you can just put it right on just like that and it swaps it out um, now the thing with this is that if these are if the clothing is in a peculiar spot uh, Daisy can be kind of buggy so if they're like back here in this corner or something and you try and do a quick swap like that um, and it, it's an item that actually has storage like this, your clothing can get stuck in the wall or something like that, and you won't be able to move those items back to your inventory uh, like you would want. So if you want to do it the safe way, you would take these to your hands, then you would drop these to the ground, and then you would put these on. Yeah, let's just keep looking. See, so we found a backpack here. So... Uh, one thing that we can do is if we're not currently wearing uh, that certain clothing item, so we don't have anything on our back, we do not have a backpack. So I can just click take, and now it'll be on my back. If I already have an item there, if I click take, it goes in my inventory, if it's small enough to fit. Um, so once again, if there is something on my back, I can either drag and put it on, and it'll automatically switch them. Um, but if I don't have something on my back, then I can just put it right on. So now, uh, let's say this sickle. There we go. I put it straight in my hands. Uh, and your hot bar, you can put things in your hot bar really easily. You just drag it right down there, just like that. If you have two things in your hot bar, you can put two there and you can switch them, just like that. And if you don't want it there anymore, you just drag it off. And that's how you can access things pretty easily. And then you can move on. Here we go. So hat. Am I currently wearing a hat? I am not. So I just click F. Bam. Now I got a hat on. All right. 
so this these are the wells in the game uh, your water and your food uh, that's another part of your HUD down on the bottom right as you can see both are currently in the yellow and they're both ticking down a little bit uh, the middle icon there is your temperature you want to keep that in the white uh, but if it's if it's in the blue but there's still the little circle at the bottom you're okay now if there is if it is no longer has the if it's like a darker blue and it no longer has the circle there if it's the bar is completely empty you will actually start losing health the two things on the right of that little separator is your blood and your health so blood you can actually bleed out uh, and if you are blinking uh, on blood you will continually pass out until you have enough blood in your body so that you can sustain yourself essentially uh, your health uh, obviously pretty similar if you take chunks out of your health you will start to be slower because you'll be in a lot of pain uh, and if you are blinking I mean you're literally gonna be like barely moving at all it'll be slower than than the walking Anyways, so the water. So obviously I'm in yellow, so these wells are going to be pretty important to find. So you want to come to these wells and you're going to drink up. The thing you do want to be careful of is especially past the spawn towns. Uh, the wells can be dangerous. You don't want to stay there long. You want to be pretty careful about when you go up to them. Uh, and sometimes it's much better to just have uh, chlorine tablets so that you can get some dirty water essentially and... Uh, Fill it up and with the chlorine in the water, and uh, that way you can actually drink the water without getting sick, and you don't have to go to the well, which could be dangerous.